Yet a humorous 
such a miserable condition that is unimaginable in dreams. And one of them was a small girl and and in fact, a Jewish girl born in Frankfurt, Germany on 12th of June 1929. Her life was as seen as an ordinary child until Nazi took the position of dictatorship in Germany. And I don't think that the autocratic policies followed by Nazis is worth being explained. Till in her life, she didn't find anyone with whom she could say every secret of her life, except a diary. The diary which was given by her granny on her 13th birthday as a gift. She also gave a pet name to that diary, Kitty. And there the foundation stone of such a masterpiece, the diary of a young girl, was left. Whenever I see this name, one question flashes into my mind. That how such an ordinary diary, which included the daily influence of a small girl, became one of the best seller books, not only in Germany, but in the whole world. And here's the reason. This diary reveals all the hardships of Jews who lived in Germany during the Nazi period. And the most important thing about this book is that it is not only a Holocaust, but it is also a source of inspiration for all those people who are oppressed by someone in their life. The reason why I am saying this is that being a small girl, being a huge sufferer, and it didn't show any sign of being afraid. Her face was full of smiling every picture of her which I had seen till now. And not only her emotions, the way she wrote her diary is also really appreciated. It contains a cute little Dutch accent as it was originally written in Dutch language and was converted into many other languages including English in the year 1952. But the matter of sorrow is that the last word of this book ends with the last word where of Annie Frank. This is because when even after escaping and even being hidden in a small camp in Amsterdam, she was finally caught by the Nazi officials and was sent to one of the treatment centers. And with an immense amount of suspense and sadness, this diary suddenly ends on 1st August and 1944. This diary is not actually only of any, but it is of all those who sacrifice their life under the Nazi operation. This book is a treasure of emotion and morals. At last, as per one of the quotes by Annie Frank herself, a man who is happy will make others happy. A person who has courage and faith will never die with us. Thank you and have a nice day.
great lecturer as well as a great writer also. Reading her autobiography was really a good read. It's really a beautiful book, beautifully entitled by Helen Keller. But at one point of her life, I felt so bad when she talked about her desperation that how bad she felt when uh, by communicating with people that no one was understanding her problematic situations. Uh, this was really heartbreaking.